there, I'm Heather Hakes. Welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you live the life you dream about. But before we dive into today's video, I invite you to check out my free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Again, visit my website, heatherhakes.com and opt into my free video training. You can also click on the link below in the description box. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And I wanna know, where are you watching from? Comment below. All right, let's get to it. Let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the exact process I used just a few years ago when I was seeking my dream job. At the time, I was working as a litigation paralegal, which anyone in the legal field can probably tell you it sucks. It is glorified paper pushing. But at the time, that was a job I wanted until I got into it. So this video is for you if you are seeking a change in career to leave your miserable job to get out of monotony, and I'm gonna tell you how. So here's what I did when I was working at that miserable job. Not only did my commute suck, I got up early every day and went to the gym before work just to beat traffic. Then I would work all day long and then I would go to the gym again just to not sit in traffic on my way home. So they were really, really long days and I didn't enjoy what I was doing. So if you're in that space right now that you don't even enjoy what you're doing, we spend a massive amount of time at work. So the least you can do is enjoy it. And I, I didn't feel I was getting paid what I was worth. So this led me to start job searching. Here's what I want you to do. Before you update your resume, before you start applying to countless jobs or reaching out to recruiters, it's really important that you get clear on what you want. And at the time, I, I live in Denver, Colorado. I was working in the tech center, but I lived out west near uh, Lakewood and Golden. So the commute was terrible. And I'm sure you may live in a large city and also experience poor traffic. So the big thing, one of my big clear objectives was I wanted to work downtown again. It was a simple, easy 15 minute commute. Plus I loved the energy of downtown. So I got clear on location. So for you, step number one, do you wanna go into an office? Do you wanna to move to a new city? Do you want it to be remote? Get clear on those details. The second step, I decided I wanted to make a minimum dollar amount. So I got clear and I wasn't even going to look at jobs in less than that. I also got really clear that company culture was really important to me. I wanted to work somewhere that I felt a part of a team and not just a cog in a wheel. So again, I got clear on these different details and then I started looking at the jobs. What happened for me was while looking and applying to jobs and working with recruiters, I ended up narrowing it down because at the time I was like, any job, downtown, making this money, good company culture. It was pretty vague. But after a few applications and some interviews, I was like, okay, I wanna work in oil and gas. So that really narrowed down my focus and I said no to anything that wasn't aligned. So again, you've got to get clear. What are your must haves and what are your would likes? Here's something else I want you to understand. If you don't know your own worth, then you can't attract bigger, better, and enjoyable work for you. If you haven't yet, I invite you to check out my free video training on my website, heatherhakes.com. This is about reprogramming your subconscious mind because if you don't feel worthy and you have self-doubt or imposter syndrome or confidence issues in your current role, but you're seeking something different, you've got to become different. You've got to step into that role of somebody who shows up in this dream job you want. Let's say you want to start a business. Well, what would a business owner look like in your niche, in your industry? How are they showing up? You know, if you want a hundred thousand a year lifestyle, who would you have to become versus who you are now? Again, this is clarity. This is awareness, but it's about doing the inner work because when you change the inside, the outside must follow. I've also done this in my own business. I had to get clear on who was I being. And this was back when I was starting in my own coaching business, but I had a lot of self-doubt and imposter syndrome and procrastination, and I wasn't consistent in creating content. 
can you see how that individual isn't going to create or attract the aligned people that you want to work with? So I figured out, oh, okay, this, this version of me wasn't doing it. I got clear on who would that person be. I, I implemented a morning routine. I was mindful and intentional. I created confidence, self-worth, consistent in posting. And then all of a sudden I was gaining traction and gaining momentum. So here's what I want you to do to apply this to your own life. Remember, you've got to get clear on the what. Let go of the how, because the how is not your job. If you're gung-ho and you have to apply it to dozens of jobs a day, it's going to be a real uphill battle and more difficult than it needs to be. That recruiter that I ended up getting that oil and gas job, she found me. When I got clear on the what, how much, and the kind of job I wanted, literally, she found me. So I wasn't out there applying and feeling exhausted and rejected. It came to me and this can happen to you too. You'll happen to have that conversation with somebody and the resources you need, or you'll happen to create a new connection on LinkedIn and it leads you to let go of the how and let the universe surprise you. So I want to hear from you. If you want to comment below to help other people open their own awareness, what is your dream job? How much are you making? What is the role like? Is it your own business? Is it a new job? What does it feel and look like? And when you get clear on this and you are living from the end, embodying an attitude of gratitude right here, right now, that that's already your reality, watch how quickly it comes. Thanks for watching today's video. I want to know what was your biggest takeaway? Comment below and let me know. If you liked this video and it resonated, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. I'll catch you on the next video.